folks and welcome back to another lesson. We're of course doing Suck My Kiss by Red Hot Chili Peppers and this is an absolute banger. Let's dive right into the settings that I'm using for the tone because it's quite an interesting one. I've got two pedals on the go for this one. I'll turn them both off so you can hear my clean tone. Hello by the way, hope you're well. I'm using my Zvex box of rock. <laughs> clean and cutting through but because I've whacked up the tone and the volume it's really smashing the front of my amp. So that gives me that sort of smushy sound but the other key component to this is the um, uh, chorus ensemble or what I'm not sure if John was using maybe a DOD for the actual recording of uh, Blood Sugar Sex Magic but he has used a CE one heavily um, and past effects do this amazing recreation of that pedal and I'm using the vibrato side of the pedal and you'll hear that because there is a chorus um, side and a vibrato side so you should be able to hear that warbling away that's it without the box of rock Yeah, got that sort of vibrato -y tone, and you'll hear it when you hear John play the... close to the tone to my ears. Let's dive in and have a closer look. So the opening riff goes like this. And then back around, okay? So that was just um, one time. So you play three times of these. Three of those, and then this, this little run. So let's run through that, right? Basically got one three on the low E and then a whack, okay? Then you're gonna play one zero zero from the A string. Then one three and two whacks. All right, that's the riff, let me play it slowly. Okay, that to speed. And for the um, chord bit, I'm using my first finger there, and then that's going straight down to the back to the F, right? Because it's a pretty easy jump, right? Now for the little run, which isn't terribly difficult, but you do need to sort your fingering out, okay? So I'm using my third finger on the third fret on the A string, all right? String number five, and you're gonna slide from three to five. And then play two more um, notes on the fifth fret on the A, right? Then your first finger goes up to the next string on the third fret, right? And they're just staying in their sort of allotted fret positions, right? And then you do another two after that one, right? Then your third finger goes to the fifth fret on the next string, on the same string, sorry, so you're on the D string now. And two more when you hit the seventh fret, but then you can use your little finger there to just get that last slide from the uh, seventh to the ninth on the G string, right? So slowly you're gonna have. I think it's actually a bit quicker that last slide, it's. So it's. All right. 
that's how he plays it. So then you're into the verse, and it's um, more one three whack action, and that goes like this. <laughs> This isn't too tricky to play, it's more about the right hand in this part because the rhythm changes ever so subtly between the first and the second measure, okay? So the first time round you'll play... Okay, that again slowly. Three, four... So one, three, whack... And then an upstroke for that next third fret. So you're almost repeating the same pattern twice there. And the second phrase is ever so subtly different, and it's just one sixteenth note difference. Basically, the first bit's the same. That bit's the same. But then when you come to the. That's quicker, right, than the first phrase. It's really, really subtle. And then you're going to play... And that's, the, that's probably the trickiest bit as well, right? So you've got to keep your um, first finger uh, within reach and distance of the, of the um, first note on the E string, right? Because you're going to do a little triplet hammer-on and pull-off. I use my first and uh, fourth finger to go one, three, one on the A string. And then immediately afterwards you play the first um, first fret on the E string, right? But if you plant your first finger to cover those uh, the E and the A string, you should be able to do that pretty easily. So the second phrase again. And again. That's it. And together, slowly. Three, four. Okay, so you'll notice the, the extra long... Um, well, extra long. It's one extra sixteenth there, right? But you'll notice that it hangs on that in the first phrase. Okay, it's got that better rather than rather than just playing it um, straight. That's probably the trickiest bit of the tune, I would say. Then you've got this cool bridge part, and this is really where you can hear the kind of chorus vibrato thing going on, right? <laughs> So what I'm doing there is I'm putting my third and my fourth finger on the fourth fret on the B and E, and I'm flattening my first finger on the third fret on the A and D string. And as part of that, because I'm not flattening it completely down, right? I'm just going for the, you know, these um, contact with the the frets on the uh, A and D string on the third fret. It's kind of naturally muting the the G string, right? So it doesn't really ring out. So that's the kind of position. And you just slide that up three frets, right? So you're going to play. All right. So slowly. And then when you go up to the uh, fifth fret, you're going to go back into the... All right, so that might be a little bit tricky as well, but um, let's go through it. Three, four. So when you play the last chord, you're basically taking out the first eighth note of that. That phrase, right? So you miss out the uh, the F, and you go straight to playing the second note of that phrase, right? So, okay. Again, slowly. All 
Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, then you go round it again, but um, the variance was just... So you can either play that 6-5-6 um, six, six from the low string, or you can play 1-0-1 one, one, uh, from the A string, okay? Either one. And the chorus riff is awesome, it goes like this. And that's it, right? I think there's a subtly different fill at the, the second time around as well, which just goes something like that. But Let's concentrate on this one. So we've got um, two E5 chords. Then you go from... I think it's going from like a, a D sus4 with A in the bass to a D5 with A in the bass, okay? So basically you're going to play... And then two A's, right? So you're going to play... Again. And this fell. You can really hear the, the chorus effect in this bit. Um, and that is um, a half step bend on the fourth fret, I think. But also with the third fret on the B string. And then we play the open G and uh, B. And then you've got this. All up strokes, just four of them. All right, so it's one, two, one. And then once more. Then you're back into the... Back into that bit, alright? Solo time, this is pretty cool, and not too difficult either, really. So, first two phrases of the solo go like this. So you're going to play a hammer-on, 15, 17 to 15. And then you play... Okay. Ba, ba, ba. All right, then the next phrase plays the same thing, but you play um, four sixteenth notes. All right, so you're going triplet to quarter notes, triplet to quarter notes with these. And the last one is just, just two um, sixteenth notes. So slowly. That's the first one. Second time is exactly the same, but you do 15, 18, 15. Which you can do with your little finger or your third finger, whichever. Alright, so together. Next part goes. Again, that's pretty straightforward. It's just uh, the rhythm, right? So 15th fret and open string. That's all you're doing. So you play the 15th fret and then you're going to play five um, open uh, G. Repeat that. Then the 15th fret and three open G. That's it. Next bit goes. That's the same phrase three times. Hammer on 10th to 11th. And the open G. Three times and the last time you just stay on the 12th fret. So. Then you're going to go into some double stops. I think this is right. It's quite hard to hear what's going on. I think it's the 10th and the 11th fret. And you're going to play this rhythm.
like that, okay? So the speed. Right, so slowly. So that's for the first three beats of that phrase, right? Then you're gonna play 12, 10, pull off, and then 11 on the B string, 10 on the E. So I'm just using my little finger there. And you play that twice. And then the next part, you're gonna end up doing really fast kind of sort of tremolo picking, right, with these uh, double stops. But you're gonna play. So that's all you're playing chord-wise, right? So you start on the 10th and the 11th. Move that up two frets. And then you're playing the 13th fret there, so I'm just adding my third, third finger there on the E. Up two frets, 15, 15. And then you go 17, 18. And it's something like this, right? Something like that, okay? So. <laughs> That's pretty close, right? So. Um, if you really, really care about it, then just double check that through the tab. I think that's right, but let me slow it down, okay? First two beats. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then you're going to do eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Super quick. All right? And you're only going to do four and then change from the 12th fret. But you stay on the 13th fret for another um, half a beat into the next bar, right? Which is like four of these quick ones, right? Up to the 15th fret. Which you do eight of. And then you do 17 for four. And then two beats of um, just 18. So let's see if we can do it slowly. Something along those lines, right? So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that one and see you again soon. Cheers, bye-bye.